If you want to automate your workflow within GitHub, you would want to use something like GitHub Actions. Actions make it easy to automate everything that you want to achieve when running software workflows, be it CI, CD, build, testing and deploying. And this is the website. These are some of the features you can essentially build, test and publish, be it Linux, Mac or Windows. And you can done, achieve different kind of outcomes with it. The way you would access actions is you would go to your repo page. You can pick any repository and within the repository you will have actions. When you go to actions, you can configure different kind of pre-existing templates, be it in the form of deployment, security, CI, automation or pages. You can just configure a simple workflow and uh, a simple workflow is essentially you know, it will talk about the basic details, what are the branch information, what are the job and it could be a multi-step process as well and each job will have certain number of steps. So that's the workflow. It will need some sort of a place to pick up the code and it will ask you which branch it is and it will have one or more jobs that can either be sequential or parallel and finally the steps which represent the sequence of tasks that will be executed. All of this is very very configurable and as you can see is in the form of YAML. So this is how the workflow works. If you're working with this or if you've worked with it before, you would know that doing this can be quite challenging working with YAML. So here's a very very interesting and amazing plugin called Action Forge which can help you reimagine GitHub workflows. It's a complete visual editor. So if you see this is how you would have your action you would have different sort of steps in here, etc, etc. And as you add this overlay, it will show you a nice kind of design as to what's happening with the workflow. And then you have different steps represented visually. Each configuration item is available for you to tweak, play with, change on the fly within the workflow. And it will show you aesthetic in an aesthetically pleasing way as to how to use and work with it. You can basically find and display all GitHub action ports, which would save you a lot of time. You could tag it, you could send it to some sort of Slack webhooks, etc, etc. You can have everything within running within GitHub. And this is more of a plugin and this is how it looks within Visual Studio Code. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly hop over to VS Code and uh, show you how it is vs code online and i will just show you how to access the plugin when you go to the plugin space you go and type action forge and you should get the action forge graph editor and this is how you start to work with it it will typically give you a workflow it will give you a detail as to how to get started etc and you can basically just install it within your vs code environment and get it up and running there's not a lot of learning steps involved you can basically plug and play reuse all the existing marketplace stuff as well and uh, it will basically work with every github action that exists and it's it's literally very very straightforward there aren't there is no payment as of now if we go to its git page you would see that it's just showing you as a plugin there are no there's nothing separate to talk about it uh we just want to check the licensing around it yeah they have a community license which needs to be validated i am not sure if okay this is not available for commercial users however if you're running a personal project you can greatly benefit from this all right so just sharing this amazing product that i found today hope this helps you automate and improve your workflows till then keep listening to the channel bye bye